Okay, in these next problem sets, we're going to look at application problems, or word problems. And uh, I hope you, you uh, learn to enjoy word problems, because in future math classes, you will see lots of them. And that's one of the purposes of this course, is to get you ready for your next math classes. So get good at these. There's a, there's a process by which they all pretty much follow. In each case, you're taking an English sentence or situation, and you're writing an equation involving... Uh, a variable. The variables is what generally what they're asking you to find. You solve the equation and then you answer in words. Okay. Now, in 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 these particular problems involving percents, we're going to use the, this principle where, where if you have a whole quantity, then there's a part of it that's a percentage of the whole. Does that make make sense? If you if if the whole is the entire amount, then the part would be a percentage of that. Generally, the part is smaller than the whole, assuming the percentage is less than 100 percent. Anyway, let's let's see how we use this principle. Take a look at this problem right here. It says 80% of what number is 12? Okay, so you're reading this sentence. They're asking you 80% of what number. So the what number is the is the variable. Now, the part is the smaller amount. So isn't this, isn't isn't this 80% of this number? So this would be the part. This would be the percentage, and and the what number that would be the the whole. See, it looks looks like that. So what would the equation look like if x is the whole and 12 is the part and in the percentage is 80, this is, this is your equation right here. 12 equals 80% times x. Now, this is the hardest part is getting to here. Once you get to here, the rest is just solving it using techniques in chapter 3. Uh, I think it's a good idea to change to a decimal. Change the percentage by moving the decimal place over two places to the left. And then I'm going to uh, divide both sides by 0.8. I'm going to move the decimal place over 1 on top and bottom, like we were doing before. At this point, you could use long division if you want. 8 goes into 120 15 times. So, And then be sure to answer in words. You'd say 80% of 15 is 12. If, I, if I'm going too fast for you here, you just hit that pause button. Okay. Let's do a couple more, then I'll have you try some. But the, this process is the same in all these problems here. Let's look at this next, next one. It says... 16% of 50 is what number? Again, we're using that principle, part equals a percent times the whole. So like I, like I was saying, the hardest part is probably to figure out which each of these is. 16%, that's the percentage. Is this 50 the part or the whole? 16% of 50 is what number? Isn't the 50 the whole? So the what number would be the, the part. That, that's your unknown, variable x. I think if you can do that, then you can probably write this e equation. The part, x, is the percentage of the whole. And like I was saying, solving is not the hard part of this. It's, it's the setup that is tricky. Now, to finish it, change to a decimal. Move the decimal place over two places to the left. And then, from what we talked about earlier, multiplying de decimals, you can, you can think of this as multiplying um, 16 times 50 and getting 800, but then don't forget to move the decimal place back over two places. So the 800 becomes 8. So the answer is 8 is 16% of 50. The part is the percentage of the whole. They all kind of work that way. Okay, let's try a couple more, then I'll give you some to try. This one says, what percent of 40 is 24? Okay, if you're not sure what the variable is, read the problem carefully. It's what they're asking you to find. They're saying, what percent? So the, that, that's your x, is this the unknown percentage of 40, that would be the whole, and 24 would be the part. So, so if x is the um, percentage, then you should have gotten 24 equals x times 40. Now remember, we're solving for x, which is a percentage, so don't leave x as a fraction. Convert it to a percent. To solve this equation, probably divide both sides by 40. And before I express this fraction as a percent, Let's see if we can reduce it. You don't have to do that, but I think it's a good idea. It might make your work a little bit easier. Can't we cancel these three twos with these three twos and get three fifths? Now, how do we convert three fifths to a percent? Well, some of you could probably do that in your head, but if you use long division, five goes into 3.6 times. And so the answer is x equals 0.6. But remember, we want to write it as a percent, so it would be 60%. And don't forget to answer in words. You'd say 60% of 40 equals 24. All right, let's see. Let's do one more, and then I'll, I'll give you some to, some to practice. 
This one's a little bit more involved because it just isn't worded quite so straightforwardly. Um, it says you, you go to lunch and, and you, in the tip on your lunch that you give is, is um, $2.40. And if that's 20% of the entire bill, how much was the entire bill? So again, you're looking at part equals percent times the whole. If you're not sure what the variable should be, read the question carefully. The variable is generally what they're asking you to find. How much was the entire bill? That's what X is. X is the entire bill. So X is the entire bill. That's, that's the whole. The percentage, do, 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 do you see this? $2.40 is 20% of the entire bill. So the part is 20% of the whole. So there, there's your equation right there. And like, like I was saying, solving is not the hard part. Change to a decimal. Divide both sides by 0.2. I would suggest moving the decimal place over 1. Now this one, we probably don't even need to use long division on this one, because look, 12, 24 divided by 2 is just 12. So just make sure you don't lose a point, because you don't, don't, don't forget to answer in words. So the entire bill is $12. Okay, let's see. Let me give you a couple to try. Read this first one very carefully. Decide what the part, what the percentage, and what the whole is, which one's the variable. Write the equation, and then solve the equation and answer in words. Go ahead and hit the pause button. Now, if you read this carefully, think about it. 12 students get A's out of 30. 30 is the whole, 12 is the part. The question asks, what percent? So the unknown is going to be the percent. So the part would be the 12 students that got A's. 12 students is a percentage of the whole, right? The whole is 30. Now again, like we were doing, like we were just doing, we're solving for the variable of that's the percent. So make sure you write your answer as a percentage. Don't leave your answer as a fraction. How do you solve this for x? Well, I would divide by 30. And now let's again, before we change this to a percent, we're going to have to use long division. How about reducing the fraction? It, so, sometimes you can reduce it. Sometimes you might not be able to. We can factor and cancel. I believe a three and a two, so we just get two fifths. Now you could use long division. 5 goes into 2.4 times, but remember we want to write it as a percent. So how would you change this to a percent? It's 40%. Did you remember to answer in words? 40% got A's. Alrighty, we've got time for one more here. Um, on this last one, I just want to give you a hint. This one's kind of sneaky. This one's a little, little trickier. If you read it carefully, you have to decide what's the part, what's the whole, and what's the percent. Uh, my hint is be very careful when you when you think about what the percent is. Okay, go ahead and hit the pause button. We'll go over it in just a second. Okay, what's different about this problem is that see this $120? That's how much you pay. See this 40%? That's how much the insurance that that's the percentage that the insurance company pays. So what percent did you pay to get this? This money that you pay is actually 60% of the entire bill, not 40, because they pay 40. So when you, it's true the entire bill is X, but when, but when you set up your equation, you see this number here, the amount that you pay, has to correspond to the percentage that you pay. If you put 120 equals 40% of X, that wouldn't make any sense because that would be the amount that the insurance company pays. So you have to read the problem carefully. Uh, Solving is not hard. We would change to a decimal. Then let's say divide both sides by 0.6. Move the decimal place over one, one place. If you wanted to, you could use long division. 6 goes into 1,200 200 times. That equals $200. That, that answer makes sense. Doesn't it seem re reasonable that the entire bill would be about $200? Don't forget to answer in words. Alrighty, we'll see you later. Bye bye.